Hello. Uh, this is something kind of different. I've been having fun with this game recently for the first time in quite a while. Uh, I haven't really played Minecraft since, um, I don't know, it's, uh, been maybe not that long, realistically, if you count, like, UHC content, um, but in terms of, oh, forget who we got here. Um, in terms of actually playing survival Minecraft, it's been uh, a couple years since I've done anything like this. Um, and I don't know what really inspired me to start playing in survival again, but... Uh, here I am. Um, <laughs> uh, so I decided to record this. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to upload it anywhere. Maybe I'll have it unlisted for a while. Um, but I kind of want to just keep this a single player world for ever, really. And see uh, how long term I can take this um, and I thought it would be kind of cool if I did little video logs every now and again to record progress as uh, the world grows mostly because I like to look back at things um, that I do, uh, just kind of have, have a record of them existing throughout the stages, you know? Um, hopefully I'll make something kind of cool, so, uh, it'll be interesting to see, uh, where it all began in, you know, maybe a few weeks, a few months, a few years, who knows? Uh, so, my name is Ninja, this is, uh, just simply Ninja's World. You can see I started a, a starter house, I guess you can call it, um, built above my, all my junk that I've been collecting so far. Um, uh oh, sounds like... There might be a pillager, pillager, pillager. Uh, maybe a group of bad dudes attacking from somewhere. Um, but you can see that I've uh, been getting resources for a little bit so far. Where the heck is this guy? He's annoying me. Sounds like you can hear me. Oh. Whoa. Okay. I don't have a shield on me right now, so this is actually kind of dangerous. Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Okay, I need to focus. Got one. Here's the other one. Is there only two? Sounds like there might be three or four. Hmm. Yeah, I think there might be some underneath me. Um, but this is the starter home. You can see I'm trying to get some grass to grow up here. Because uh, I want to make this like a little kind of rooftop garden. Uh, but this will be my main 
bedroom with my, my personal uh, treasures. Oh, yeah, there is two more. Okay, we're gonna need to take care of these. Uh, you can see I kind of started to build a little uh, fishing dock as well uh, that I used for a while. Uh, but then I started to do um, some AFK fishing uh, down over here. Um, I just have a little uh, simple setup. This used to give you uh, some pretty cool treasures and stuff. It was actually kind of overpowered, but now it just gives you fish and uh, junk, uh, which is fine. I've been uh, just using it to get uh, food when I've uh, not really wanted to go out hunting. I've been trying to uh, be sort of a pacifist so far. I haven't killed any animals, uh, so... Except for fish, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just been uh, AFK fishing for my food mostly. That's where these guys are. This guy's got an enchanted bow, so I need to be careful. <coughs> oh, that's the one with the flag. Okay, I think he's the last one. the third yeah third little group of goblins that started giving me trouble imagine my luck I accidentally got blown up by a creeper while I was watching my test recording <laughs> um that was embarrassing. I set up everything kind of back to normal. Um, but yeah, that sucked. I forgot to mention that I have a really, really simple reed farm setup uh, just with a couple observers and some pistons uh, but sometimes they get stuck on this edge right here before they go in the water that feeds into this hopper so it's not the best design I feel like um, I either might need to push these pistons back one block and put uh, a block here in front and then I guess I would have to turn these into sticky pistons, um, which might make a difference because uh, the piston pistons kind of have some transparency to them when they're extended, which might be the reason that the uh, reeds are just falling straight down. I think a full block might push it more fully ahead. Um, and the other thing might be that it's like pulsing too fast, so maybe. Uh, maybe I can find a way to adjust the timing to where it uh, sticks out for just a little bit longer uh, and then retracts. Um, but at the same time, uh, I don't know if it's really worth it because it does uh, kind of passively generate a good amount. Um, I might just tear the whole thing down anyway and uh, restart a better design from scratch when I have more resources, but this is just mainly to uh, get enough sugarcane to uh, build a enchantment setup, which I have yet to do, even though I um, have the obsidian for it. Um, I just need to get it. Uh, quite a bit of leather. Um, 
And like I said, I've been kind of doing a pacifist run uh, so far in this world. Um, and it's not that I'm opposed to killing animals, actually, because uh, ironically, what the theme of today's log kind of is, is hopefully to build a uh, cow beef and leather farm. Uh, and to do that, I need to go out and uh, find some cows. Um, it's not that I'm opposed to killing animals. Um, but the reason I haven't yet is because I'm trying to keep uh, the ecosystem kind of intact. So I want to uh, find a couple cows that I can breed. And they're going to be these guys right here. Candidate number one and candidate number two. Um, and then I'm just going to breed a bunch so that uh, the only cows that I'll actually be killing will be ones that uh, I'm responsible for making. Kind of a, I, I brought you into this world and I can take you out of it sort of thing. But with cows. I changed my skin recently to Michelangelo of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because uh, I've been watching a ton of that on TV. And that's just what I wanted to do. I like the character. <laughs> um, I think he's pretty funny. The ball show is pretty funny. I've been watching uh, the one from the 1980s, even though that came out a little bit before uh, me, my time. So, uh, something I've seen, or I'm just seeing for the first time. So I don't think it should be too hard. Um, just need to make it so that there's a tank up top with uh, big cows. Um, and then there's a gap small enough that the babies can fall through that the big ones can't. That's a new feature that I didn't know about. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's even spots in my house where uh, monsters can spawn during the night. That's not good. I have been a lazy lighter uh, so far. But, oh well. Eventually I'll be screwed over enough times to probably be inspired to change things up a little bit. This is super disorganized. Um, I'm t 
totally gonna take this down after a few days because it's gonna be kind of an eyesore as well uh, I'm not even super sure what I'm doing is that right? I don't think that's right <laughs> um, I'm trying to follow a design I saw from memory but um, super hideous, but, <laughs> um, it's not gonna be a long-term thing. Oh, come on. Are they gonna... Uh-oh. Here we go. Finally. Yeah, this might not work without we huh maybe oh that was my bad Come on, guy. Oh, whoa. Okay. Cool. Okay. That's two. Um, actually, I'll keep this here for right now. I need to get another pair in this chamber right here. Uh, the 
this is gonna be um, the little temporary farm design. I think I'm gonna end it right here uh, just because I'm starting to get kind of tired and um, my eyes are getting kind of sore. But yeah, this is just, um, like I said, something I'm gonna come back to every once in a while. Uh, hopefully, uh, if I do ever get burnt out on this, um, I can kind of take a break from it and come back at a later point in time. That's the goal anyway. So, yeah. Until next time.